So here are some thesis statement notes for you to follow as you're working to creating your thesis statement. So what is a thesis statement again? It's a summary of the argument that you're going to be writing about and defending in your paper. So what's the format of a thesis statement? Well, it contains two parts. It contains your topic and it contains your assertion or your argument that you're going to be proving in your essay. So for example, gun control reduces the crime rate. Gun control is your topic and reduces the crime rate is your assertion that you are arguing. A thesis statement is typically one sentence long. It is arguable. It's probably the most important sentence of your entire essay. And it's a summary of the argument that you're going to be making. A thesis statement should be the last sentence of your introductory paragraph. It should be restated in the conclusion in your essay. It should not be vague. It needs to be very focused and it should not be general. It as well should not be emotional. A thesis statement needs supporting details in the body paragraphs. It needs to clearly state what the essay is going to be about. It's kind of like your roadmap for your reader. But it should not say, this essay is going to be about this, or my thesis statement is this. As well, it needs to be provable, and it probably should be bolded in your paper. That way you can always reference back and make sure that you are supporting it in your body paragraphs. So let's look at some model thesis statements quick like. There are three general ways that you can model your thesis statements, and I'm gonna show you how to do that. The first one is blank should blank. So for example, music therapy should be considered a valid and effective form of alternative treatment. Your topic is that music therapy should be considered, music therapy, excuse me, and your assertion is that it should be considered valid and effective alternative treatment. Or another example, smoking in public places should be illegal. Smoking is your topic and your assertion is that it should be illegal. A second way to format it is blank should blank because blank. So for example, there should be metal detectors in all high schools because weapons and violence in schools are increasing every year. Your topic is that there should be metal detectors in high schools and your assertion is because there's weapons and violence and it increases every year. Another example would be everyone knows the dangers of cocaine because it is becoming a more popular recreation drug in today's society. Your, your topic is that everyone should know the dangers of cocaine and your assertion is because it's becoming more popular in today's society. Or a third example of this is people should maintain an active lifestyle and a nutritious diet because obesity has many dangerous effects. Your topic is about the active lifestyle and the nutritious diet and your assertion is because obesity has many dangerous effects. And last but not least, here's a third way to model it. Blank should blank in order to blank or you can rearrange it a little bit. In order to blank, blank should blank. So for example, students should be required to take a music class in school in order to improve their academics or their academic performance. Improving their academic performance is your topic and your assertion is that they should be required to take a music class. Another way you can flip it around, in order to improve students' academic performance, they should be required to, make, to take a music class in school. So that last portion there, they should be required, is your assertion. So now it's your turn. In this lesson, you're going to be given four short, small paragraphs. I'd like you to read each one of them and then write a thesis statement using one of these three methods that I've just shown you.